It is always a pleasure to have you stopping by. I'm John Zadar. I am the host of On Top and Hot, and this is Monday, April 8th. Now, what we normally like to do on this show is focus in on a hot penny stock. I'm a day trader. I trade penny stocks. I do this every single day from bell to bell. Go out there looking for stocks under five bucks. And you know where I find them? Everywhere, anywhere. Penny stocks are on every single market. But I'm particularly looking for stocks that have heat, that have the potential to make money. Not just for myself to trade, but that I have something to share with my friends at the end of the day. Well, today we're going to do something a little bit different. We are not going to focus in on a hot penny stock. We're going to focus in on an insight on how to make money on penny stocks. Now, as most of you are probably already aware, I post a lot of news for stocks, primarily in the morning, pre-market. I'm a madman in the morning. Get a pot of coffee in me and get out of my way. I am going to post every single piece of news I can find on penny stocks. I am going to post every single runner I can find for penny stocks. Now, I'm not saying I'm getting 100% of them, but I'm getting the majority of it, folks. And the great thing about this is I don't just put it all on one platform. I put it on four, well, actually three different platforms, but in four different places. I find that piece of news and I post it once, twice, thrice, four times. Then I go find another piece of news and I post it four times. So you can find all my news on Twitter. Two Facebook pages, Stocks for Beginner and Titan Trading. And then I also put it on my Discord group. Now, if I happen to find any stocks about cannabis that day, they go on my own personal Facebook page, Penny Pot Stocks, which I have been taking care of since 2018. Well, when you do this religiously, day after day after day, you start to take notice of a few things. And I did. And this is what I'm sharing with you right now. Over the last two weeks, I posted 11 pieces of news on companies that received patents. Out of those 11, eight took gains. I'm talking gains of 10% to over 200% that day. We're talking about over 70% of the news that comes out about patents takes gains. You got to pay attention to that, folks. So what I want to do with you right now is just share those stocks with you and share the charts, though we're really not looking at these stocks we're just looking at the way they run on the news so that we can learn. So we're taking a look at those eight stocks that took gains from the 11 that posted news about the patents they received. Now, I don't have these in any particular order, but I do believe I've got all the relevant information. First thing I did was to copy my tweet. That tells us what day the news came out, what company we're talking about, and what their patent is for. Now, to save us time and considering that we're really not focusing in on the stocks, I'm not going to read the news. I'll let you do that. We're primarily interested in these bounces. So to that end, I've also brought over the charts. I have marked the day that the news came out and already calculated the gains from the bounce. Easy peasy. So the first one we're looking at is ticker VVOS, Vivos Therapeutics. Her news came out April 4th. It was about an hour and a half, two hours after the bell. And as soon as the news came out, she took off running immediately, folks. And that's the first thing I got to tell you. When you find news about a patent, don't just think about looking at it later. You better look at it now or you're just going to miss it. These things launch immediately. As you can see here, she took off as soon as this news came out. The volume shot up really, really fast. She started to climb. Now, we are on a 15-minute, five-day chart. There are two bars climbing, two bars up there. That means we had one hour that this lasted before it came all the way back down. And we could tell it was going to come back down because the volume started falling as fast as it exploded. So take your gains. Get out of this. We're just looking for those quick pops. Take a look at the next one here. This came out April 1st. This is ticker ACON, a clarion. Now, this one came out aftermarket. I can tell just by looking at the format of my tweet. If there's any aftermarket activity, I would have to calculate the percentage gains or losses. I can't use what they have posted. And I'm normally tired by the end of the day and I don't want to do it. So I just put CP down for current price and you can see what it is. And I'm going to presume I saw this after the news because this came out at 4.03 and she launched, folks. She hit 75% really fast. Now, again, 
We're looking at a 15 minute five day chart. I've got two bars here. So this was a 30 minute ordeal and she came right back down to where she started from real quick. Third one. This also happened April 4th. This is Sky X Platforms, ticker SKYX. Now I found this one interesting considering she only got 16% gains. They tell us here the company announces issuance of eight additional new patents in the US and international, including China, Europe, and two patents in India. Well, that's a lot of new patents and all she got was 16%. Right here, we had a breakout up to the 200 and when the bell rang, she fell down to a 200 haul, rolled off of that and came right back to her 50. That was short folks. This is also a 15 minute five day chart. So you had 15 minutes to take advantage of that one. This next one came out April 3rd. This is BICX BioCore RX. She had a 30% gain and unlike most of them that you're going to see, she just kept on going. Now it wasn't a ripper. She wasn't going for the moon, but she was giving us gains. This came out early. You can see pre-market over here. That tells you there was nothing going on pre-market when I posted this news. She started to climb and climbed all day. We got a 30% run out of that. And then today she continued running. Rarely do I see stocks that have news on patents not fall back. So this was rare. This was nice. Got another one here for you. This is ticker ENVB and Varic Biosciences. This came out April 3rd. Let me back this down. We had a nice rip on this. Looks like this happened just at the bell. Just before the day ended, we had a 40% gain. She ripped through the 200 twice. Uh, this is the one hour chart. So this is actually two hours that you probably could have taken advantage of this play before she fell back down. But at least this time she kept some of her gains. She came up on top of this 50 day SMA and this is where she's been riding. On April 2nd, ticker CYTH Cyclotherapeutics reported they had received a patent for their Alzheimer disease drug. They got a 28% bounce out of this. This was at the end of the day. Nice breakout through the 200. Came right back down very quickly, right? This is a one hour chart. So you had about 60 minutes to take advantage of that one. Another one from March 22nd. I do believe this is the oldest one I have here. This is ticker AKLI. She had a 42% gain, folks. Again, this was at the very end of the day. It could have been after market. Nope. I think this was before the market bell. She jumped hard all the way up, came all the way back down right to where she started, folks. These are very quick plays. I cannot emphasize that enough. That's why when you find the news, go directly to the charts, open up your broker's uh, trading platform and get ready. This last one was today, folks. This one was exciting. This is ticker A-U-U-D, Audia. They received a patent and look at that. Look at that run, folks. I saw this pre-market, right there it is, and I saw it at 28% gains. She was at $2.85, somewhere in this region here. Well, she just kept going. She went up 330% to her high today, folks, on patent news. You never know where these are going to go. We can get anywhere from 10% to hundreds of percent, but you've got to be there. Now, obviously you had a long time to play this one. She ran all pre-market and virtually all day. When she fell back, she fell back to her nine day SMA. She bounced off of it and it looks like she's ready to climb again. You may want to watch this one tomorrow, folks. A-U-U-D there's a very strong possibility she could continue her growth. Same thing with this one back here, ticker B-I-C-X. She is growing right now and that's the most recent news we've got. So it's pretty exciting for them. So as I said, folks, you're going to want to get in the habit of looking for this news, not waiting for it to fall into your lap. If you're waiting for me to post it, chances are you're getting the news too late. I get it to you as fast as I can, but in the time it takes me to post it, 
Remember, I do it four times. By the time you see it, a few minutes have gone by, at least five, that thing could be running fast. So I would find some way to bring up your news so you can glance at it all the time and see what's going on. Or check and see if Google still has their alerts. You go over to the news. I think they have a button there for alerts. You tell them what keyword you want and you can choose alerts to come to you instantly. They can come text or they can come email and you get that ding and you know something's going on. I'm just thinking out loud. That's what I like to do. I like somebody to give me a heads up. So this is what I'm sharing with you folks. A little bit of insight for stocks that have news about patents. Eight out of 11 took gains over the last two weeks. That is over 70% of every stock that has news about patents taking gains. That's worthy of consideration. Remember folks, I'm only passing on information, but it's up to you to do the rest of the due diligence. And this is going to require some of your due diligence. Remember folks, the more you know, <laughs> the more you're going to grow. See you folks.